This is a tutorial on how to take a drawing that I did of a heart with my mom's initials and how to take that using my Chromebook to laser cut it. First thing I want to point out, this heart has very thick lines. These initials are very, very thick. That's very important. The second thing I want to point out is this is drawn in very dark. That will also be very important. If you don't draw it in thick and you don't draw it in dark, thick and dark, it won't work. So let me show you what I did. Bottom left, click on my Chromebook, shoot my picture. I'm gonna take my my drawing right here and put it right up to the image to the camera and click the picture. I actually already did that, so and I saved it into my design folder under pictures. I'm sorry. Laser cutting examples, drawings. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Sumo Paint. SumoPaint.com. It's already bookmarked on your homepage. Click on the button Try Online. I'm going to go to File, Open from my computer. There's my image right there. I'll open it, and that's what it looks like. Next thing I'm going to do is click on this button here. The bottom left that's called the crop button it says crop tool click on it and draw a box around the outside of my image and it crops it so only that part is showing that's what i want next i'm going to go to image at the top go to image size make sure i click constrain proportion both of these should be clicked for the width i'm going to type in 150. click ok and as you can see, it's shrunken down a little bit, which is what I want. I don't want it to be too big because this is going to be a pendant for my mom that she's going to either hang from a necklace or maybe from, from some earrings. Next, I'll go to File, Save to my computer. i got to resave it. Save it as a PNG file. And I'll call this Spotagen Heart Pendant. Click Save. And again, I'm going to save it to my Google Drive. I'll save it in my design folder under laser cutting. I've got some drawings there. And it's called Spotagen Heart Pendant. Click Save. Excellent. Next, I'm going to open up a new tab and go to autotracer.com or .org. A-U-T-O-T-R-A-C-E-R dot O-R-G, autotracer.org. Pretty cool site. I'm going to click this button in the middle, choose File to Upload. I'm going to pick the one that I just made, Spotagen Heart Pendant. Click Open. And this is going to vectorize it. This is going to get it ready for the laser cutter. Click on Show Advanced Options. Number of colors should be 2. Line offset should be 10. Noise reduction should be 10. Click on send file. And what this program does, it automatically smooths out the lines so that the laser cutter can cut along this smooth line. So if my drawing's a little bit off, it actually smooths out the lines for me. Now I'll click on this link right here. So I'll download the SVG file. The SVG file is called say, is a scalable vector graphic file used for laser cutter. Show in folder. Again, I want to move this into my Google Drive. So click on there, it's under Downloads. I'm going to hit Control C on my keyboard. I'll actually show it over here. Again, Control C, that copies it. So now that it's selected, it's copied. Now I can go into my drive, go back to my design folder, laser cutting go under drawings, and now I'm going to hit control V as in victory. And there it is, Sapotagen heart pendant. So I have a copy there. The next thing I need to do is turn it into my shared folder. One of the earlier assignments in this class was to put things in your shared folder. So let's say I'm in Aquas. Here's my 00 Aquas design folder. I can do control V again and save it in that folder. Once it's in that folder, it will be accessible by your instructor's computer, and then we can laser cut it.